beautiful age above the falling. What a mighty God we serve. Praise the Lord. Children of God, people of God, where you are, everywhere you are, I say praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, this is uh, this is this is the mountain of prayer. On this mountain of prayer, as we are going to pray together in this mountain of prayer, the power of God will relocate every one of us, even tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'm believing God that after tonight, everything you have lost to the camp of the enemy, every arrow shot against your life. Every arrow shot against your family, every arrow from the paths of darkness, the Lord of heaven will scatter those arrows. You will regain strength. You will regain everything you have lost to the hand of the enemy in Jesus' name. Amen. So please, when we are praying, this prayer conference, this online prayer meeting, and this mountain of prayer, when we are praying, please, I want to advise you to mute yourself, except you are on special duty, except you are on special assignment, I understand. But if not, please, you mute yourself. Because I love when I'm leading people in prayer, I want to hear the people of God pray to God. And once I chase a thousand, and two of us, you and me, we shall chase, we shall pull 10,000 to fly. Tonight, the power of God will locate every one of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's pray together. Let's pray together. Our Father and our God, we bless your name because you are the ancients of days. We worship your name because you are the I am that I am. You are the unbeatable. You are the unreversible. You are the unchangeable. You are the unconquerable. You are great in strength. You are great in power. You are great in wisdom. There is no one we can compare with you. You are the greater than the greatest. Father, we worship you. Father, we bless you. Father, we glorify you. Father, we exalt you. Tonight, as we come to pray, challenges facing the people, challenges in every ramification, as we present these challenges before the throne of grace, Father, let people be located to everybody on this mountain in Jesus' name. Let me hear your amen. 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 We pray that tonight the Spirit of God and tonight the power of God, wherever anyone's destiny has been buried, the hand of God will go forth and it will bring those destinies out. And your purpose, why you create your people, will, be co will come to pass in their life in Jesus' name. Amen. Mountains yeah. will be rolled away tonight. Sicknesses Amen. will be healed tonight. Amen. Disease Amen. will be taken away tonight. And Amen. all those who have been praying for the will of God in marriage, tonight they will be connected in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Open your mouth, Amen. man and brethren. I want you to appreciate God. Bless Amen. the Lord, oh my soul, and all Amen. that is within me. Bless his holy name. Open your mouth and bless the Lord. Open your mouth and show appreciation to God. Open, open your mouth and show him the praise belong unto you. Father, we thank you. We bless you for your compassion. We bless you. You are the eternal rock. We worship you. We exalt you. We thank you for your good. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your compassion. We thank you for your preservation. We thank you for the gift of life. Open for your mouth. Appreciation. Thank you for your presence. loving kindness. Thank you for healing. God has been doing in your life. It is the Lord. In the name of Jesus. 
I thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the vision of life. Thank you for keeping you healthy. Thank you, my blessed holy name. For his grace upon your life, for his compassion. For his grace upon your life, for his goodness. Oh, bless the Lord. Worship him, glorify him, because tonight is your night of dominion. Tonight is your night of your miracles. Tonight is your night of your liberation. Tonight you will not miss tonight. The power of God will locate you wherever you are tonight. Oh, the administration of the power of God will come upon your life tonight. The Spirit of God will work wonders in your life tonight. Open your heart and praise the Lord. Yeah, we'll be Open around. your mouth and show the gratitude. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Bless his name. Worship his name. Thank you, Lord. Bless Thank his name. Worship his name. Glorify his name. Give him the glory. Give him the glory unto his name. Our God is great. It's great to be praised. It's great to be worshipped. It's great to be adored. He is the excellent God, the King of Kings. Pray that we intervene. Pray that you will be great in your life. Pray that the power of God will work miracles in your life tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's your night of celebration. It's your night of your testimony. It's your night of your deliverance. It's your night of your, of your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Give the glory due to his name. Because it's your night of testimony. It's your night of testimony. It's your night of testimony. Oh, God is great. God is wonderful. Thank you, Lord. God is powerful. God is excellent. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Brethren, tonight, as I was preparing the prayer online today, I the Lord began to lead me to talk to. We should pray specifically uh, area of our lives because of the plot and the program of the enemy against the people of God. And sometimes before any challenges take place in, in physically here, spiritually damage has occurred already before it, before it appears physically. As we as I'm going to address this topic tonight, I am believing the Lord is deliverance from flying arrows. Deliverance mm. from arrows that is flying. You may not know, but I will show you from the scripture. There, there are some arrows that fly by day. The Bible talks about the arrows that fly by day. You understand? So there are some arrows that walk in day. They fly by day. And if you are not spiritual alive, those arrows, when you eat any ignorant child of God, it may cause damage into me or our life. But tonight, whatever damage the enemy have occurred already in your spiritual life, in your family, in your circular life, the power of God will scatter those damage and whatever they have thrown at you, we shall go to throw those things back to them in Jesus' name. Amen. I read from Psalm 91. Verse 5. The Bible says, Psalm 91, I read from verse, uh, verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. Can you see that? You, thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. There are some terror and so evil acts that occur midnight, midnight, they sow the seed of backwardness, the seed of destruction. But then in the day, arrow that fly by day. I pray for you tonight. Whatever arrow shot against you tonight, 
the power of God will scatter those evil arrows in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Psalm 11, verse 2. For I look, the wicked banded their bow, they make ready their arrow, so that they, so that they can secretly shoot at the upright in art. Secretly, they shoot their arrows, the wicked. Let me tell you something, brothers. An arrow is a weapon that has capacity to cause a damage or death on a living object. I repeat myself again. Hear this, hear this declaration. An arrow is a weapon that has capacity to cause a damage or death on a living object. There is an arrow of death. If you remember very well, an arrow of death is one sent to kill people before their time. Some people just die before their time. In 2 Kings chapter 4, 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 18, and when the child was grown, he fell on a day that he, he went out to his father, to the, to, to, to the reaper, and he said unto his father, my head, my head, and he said unto the dam, carry him to his mother. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat, uh, he sat on her knee till the moon, and then he died. And she went up and lay him on the bed of the man of God, and saw the door upon him, and he went out. And she called unto her husband and said, Send me, I pray thee, one of the young men and one of the ass, that I may run to the man of God and came again. This boy has, he had no symptom of sickness. This little boy had no symptom of any affliction. But suddenly he cried out because of a flying arrow attacked his head. And in no time, the boy died. That is an arrow of death. We, we may not know the source. Of the of the reason behind it but he got to the boy and that arrow hit that boy the boy cried my head my head and he died that's the arrow of death many people have been killed through the arrow of death in this manner sometimes they go out they just say yeah they just fall down on the road on the vehicle they are, they are driving nothing happened no sickness all of a sudden they just say, my head my head and they just give up the ghost they just die that is the arrow of death sometimes the arrow of death can stay for a while in a person before it will eventually kill the person hmm. men and brethren you are going to pray and call upon the name of jesus christ and you're going to call the fire of the holy ghost and so it will destroy any arrow of death Shot against you. You are this is a prayer point now. Any arrow of death, so that this arrow can be in people's body, people's life for a, a while before that arrow manifests. You are going to pray every arrow of death shot against your husband, every arrow of death shot against your wife, every arrow of death shot against your children. You are going to pray that that arrow will go back to where it comes from. Open your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. Whatever mm -hmm. arrow of death shot against your life, whatever arrow of death shot against your family, call upon the Lord. Let that arrow go back to where it comes from. This child cried, my head, my head. All of a sudden, he give up the ghost. Come back and pray. I want to hear you pray. Every strange arrow shot against your life. Every strange arrow shot against your family. Every strange arrow shot against you will kill you spiritually. Arrow of death, spiritual death, financial death, marital death, social death. The arrow that shot against your life. Pray and call upon the Lord. Let that arrow backfire to where you come from. Open your mouth and pray. Please, I want you to immute yourself and pray. Immute yourself and pray. This is, this is prayer mountain. This is the mountain of prayer. This is this for the time of quiet time. This is a prayer conference. A prayer conference. Call upon the Lord. Every arrow shot against you and your family. Let that arrow go back in the name of Jesus. Every arrow shot against you and your household. Let that arrow go back in the name of Jesus. Every arrow shot against you. Pray and call upon the Lord. Evil arrow of sickness. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Please emote yourself this mountain of prayer. This prayer conference mountain. Emote yourself. Emote yourself, please, so that we can pray together and there will be result as we pray. Now, number two, arrow of affliction. Hmm. This arrow, an arrow of affliction is sent to, 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 to a target. If we cause a various affliction and oppression, most of which this arrow, when the where, where the enemy throw the arrow of affliction upon upon their victim, that arrow will result to a lot of affliction, oppression, disease, sickness, and whatever. Uh, if you read Luke chapter eight from verse forty-three, a woman with an issue of blood for good twelve years. She carried this issue of blood here and there. The enemy shot arrow of affliction to her. The first year, the arrow was still there working. Second year, the arrow was still there working. Ten years, eleven years, the twelve years, the arrow was still with her for good twelve years. And she carried this arrow of affliction until he met Jesus. When she touched Jesus, he said, somebody touched me. A bet you have gone out for me. Because that woman knew very well that affliction, arrow of affliction has hit on her. Tonight you are going to pray that every arrow of affliction that you have been, that that medical, medically no solution, you have spent a lot of money, and that affliction still persists. You are going to pray every arrow of affliction, oh God, scatter them out of my life. Every arrow of affliction in your family, Every arrow of affliction in your in your ministry, every arrow of affliction in your house, every arrow of affliction in your marriage, call upon the law that the power of God will scatter and throw the arrow of affliction back to where it come from. Open your mouth and pray and call upon the law. Open your mouth and pray and call upon the law. What arrow will not stand in your life? The arrow of affliction must go back to where it comes from. Every arrow of affliction afflicts you spiritually, afflicts you maritally, afflicts you financially. Every arrow of affliction targeted against your life. Oh God, I reject the arrow of affliction. Call upon the Lord and shatter every arrow of affliction in the name of Jesus. We are call upon the Lord. The Lord shall deliver that woman carry 12 years of arrows of, arrow of affliction upon her life. Jesus. Where good years of arrow of affliction yeah. 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 in a life. Let Jesus show up in your life. Every affliction of arrow must come out from your body. You must be delivered from the arrow of affliction. Let's go upon the Lord. And wherever the arrow has come upon, that arrow of affliction must go back to where it comes from. That arrow of affliction must go back to where it comes from. Every type of pain, every type of a, 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 a sickness or curable sickness, you are spent money. Spend money and the activity passes, command the arrow of affliction to go back to where it comes from. We pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. There's arrow of confusion and division. Oh, the arrow of Confusion is capable of separating friends, separating family, separating couples, arrows of division, arrows of, of confusion. My brother, remember Paul and Barnabas. They were going to the mission field. And all of a sudden, someday after Paul said unto Barnabas, let us go again and visit mm -hmm. our brethren. In every city where we have preached the word and see how they do, Barnabas determined to take with him John, who thought Sunday was mad. But Paul thought not good to go to, to take him with him. You see, Paul and Barnabas were going for the missionary journey. And then Barnabas, he, he wants to go with Mark. And Paul says, it's not, it's not right. This is just a reason my not think they should resolve. For two of them, the devil target them because they are missionary. And the devil doesn't want the work of God to, 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 to come to pass, to prosper. Satan has separated. Paul went one side, Barnabas went the other side. 
because of these um, arrows of affliction. And sometimes, these arrows of affliction, it can also cause division in marriage. Husband and wife that has been enjoying their life together according to the plan of God suddenly began to work against each other due to hatred, bitterness, suspicion. That is the arrow of division. That is the arrow of affliction. That is the arrow of contention. You are going to pray. Every arrow of division in your marital life, in your ministerial life, oh God, such arrow, I scatter them in the name of Jesus. Call upon the Lord and pray. Such arrow of division. Every arrow of affliction shot against you and your shot against you and your family. Shot against your marital home. Shot against your life. Pray and call upon the law that the power of after the arrow of affliction. Arrow that fly by day. Evil arrow fly by day. Arrow of division. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. That arrow prevail and, and that arrow prevail over the fact of the life of Paul and Barnabas. That arrow separate both of them. Why can't you call upon the Lord? Every arrow of affliction against your life. Every arrow of affliction shot against your marriage. Every arrow of affliction shot against you. Call upon the Lord. Why? That arrow be scattered. Husband and wife who have been enjoying their step all this while suddenly there is division. There is hatred. There is bitterness. And the wife is so much of hate. And there is now division in the house. That is the arrow of division. That is the arrow of confusion. For another arrow to go back to where it comes from. For mother arrow to go back where it comes from. For friends as well. The arrow can separate friends. Friends, you see good friends, they are not in good time again. And ministers of God as well. If that arrow can separate ministers of God as well. Every arrow of division, commander arrow to scatter. If you not prevail in your life, in your home, in the name of Jesus. If you not prevail in our family, in the name of Jesus. If you not prevail in our platform, in the name of Jesus. If you not prevail in our life, in the name of Jesus. Every such arrow of affliction, division, we command it to be scattered. In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Number four, arrow of character disorder. Hey, she got Arrow of character disorder. Sometimes this arrow, arrow that fly by day, if they shoot this arrow against somebody's character, he misbehaves. The arrow is making people to misbehave. That is the arrow of character and disorder. Don't you remember um, Judah the Cariot that Satan entered into him? Normally, what he did, he should have done it. Because he, the devil shot an arrow to his character. He misbehaved. You have you talked about it? He now began to plan how to sell his master for 30 pieces of silver. On a normal day, he couldn't have done that. If you all know the story. After he betrayed the Lord, he was remorse. He began to cry, cry tears. He don't know what to do. He went to commit suicide. How can he? How can he do such things? He was not he was happy. Confusion here and there. But it was an arrow. Among the disciples, it was an arrow. Sword against one of his one of the disciples. And that arrow eat Judas. He, he, he eat Judas and Judas misbehave. My brother, you are going to pray seriously. You are going to call upon the Lord once and again. And you are going to ask the Lord, every arrow of disorder, character disorder, shot against my life, let the arrow go back to where it comes from. Open your mouth and pray. Let the arrow go back to where it comes from. Call upon the Lord. Every arrow of character disorder, every arrow of character misbehavior, shot against your life. Short against your ministry, short against your soul, short against your spirit. Let the arrow backfire. Let the arrow go back to where it comes from. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. That is arrow of 
character disorder. Whether uh, the Bible calls about the arrow that fly by day. What about God? Arrow that fly by day. This prayer point you are, I am, you are giving to you, how big can you get this prayer point something else? If we pray this prayer point very well, you will have the victory. We are trying to see people behaving when they shoot arrow, 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 when they shoot the woman, be, the woman began to misbehave. That is the arrow of character disorder. It was not like that before. If any shot that arrow against that woman, he shot the arrow against that husband, and they began to misbehave. Arrows of character disorder fall upon the law in the name of Jesus. That arrow will go back. That arrow will go back. We pray. We pray. In the name of in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you another thing. There was a brother, he was telling me some years ago. He said he was just lying down. All of a sudden, that something just come up, told him to just take his shirt and go out. Go to where? He said he was going to the house of the prostitute. He said as he was about to enter the house like this, the prostitute um, um, Oh, that something, something just grabbed him and caught his attention. That's so and so. What is happening to you? He said they went back home. I said that was the arrow of loss and adultery, arrow of immorality. Arrow. They shoot the brother the arrow. He was about to go to go and commit evil. In the process that he was going like that, he called back to his senses. Where am I going? Where is this? Where, where am I? And he returned back home immediately, he began to pray for mercy. That is the arrow of immorality, arrow of fornication, arrow of pleasure, arrow of lust. You are going to pray. There's another one again. I call this arrow of devourer. Hey, arrow of devourer. This kind of arrow tend to attack somebody's wealth and property. Arrow of devourer. They will shoot that arrow. Remember Job. The enemy shot that arrow of devourer against Job's wealth and property. Is Job served God for nothing? Has God not blessed Job? God, permit me, let me shoot this arrow. And God said, you can go. He permitted Satan to see. Satan showed the arrow of devourer to scatter the wealth of Job and his property. He lost all the property. He lost his children, but Job maintains integrity. Hey, you will maintain the integrity of God in your life. You are Amen. going to pray. Every arrow of devourer shot against your finances. Every arrow of devourer shot against your wealth. Every arrow of devourer shot against your property. Every arrow of devourer, you are going to ask the Lord, Oh Lord, let that arrow go back to where it comes from. Open your mouth and pray. Every strange arrow to come to you, Lord. Your finances, you don't say this arrow of the Bora. And then you look to put the public arrow of the Bora. Every strange arrow of the Bora against your mind. Don't try to make you bring property into your ministry, into your life. Command that arrow to scatter in the name of Jesus. Arrow of the Bora must not prevail in your finances, must not prevail in your income. In your family, as an arrow of the devourer to go back in the mighty name of Jesus, all upon the Lord, all upon the Lord, all upon the Lord. Wherever they have shot that arrow against your life, against your finances, against your property, and they want to take advantage of it, and they will fire of God to bring those arrows out of your system. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we are praying against every such evil arrow shot against anyone in this in this in this mountain. Every arrow shot against any of our particular part in this prayer mountain, the Lord will send that arrow back to where it comes from. 
in the location of the glory. Strong. I am come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. 
That is the word of God. You are going to call upon the Lord God Almighty. And you will decree that no weapon, you are going to decree that, eh, that the God of heaven will, will frustrate every demonic plan to steal, every satanic plan to kill, every evil plan to destroy your destiny. You are going to pray that God will frustrate all their weapons. Who will frustrate all their power? Who will frustrate all their agenda? Oh, put your mouth and pray and call upon the Lord. Would you go after the Father over us in the name of Jesus? Come and come and kill or kill or destroy. But Jesus Christ has come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundant life. Like Jesus Christ said, God will frustrate every demonic plan to see, every satanic plan to see, and every evil plan to destroy your destiny. Whatever they are taking from you, they are going to restore back in the name of Jesus. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You are going to bind every spirit of failure and, and stagnation that is working against your destiny. Every spirit of failure working against your destiny. Every spirit of stagnation working against your destiny. You are going to command them and bind them and destroy their effect out of your life, out of your ministry, out of your family. Open your mouth and possess your position. Come upon the Lord. You have the power in your disposal. You have the authority in your disposal. Call upon the law. I give unto you power. Power in your life. Power of authority. Bind every spirit of failure in your life. Every spirit of failure in your ministry. Every spirit of failure as you fight against your life. The authority over your spirit and command it to go to bondage. The spirit of failure has to act. 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 Right, somebody just uh, sent a private message not too long. He said, I went God to intervene in American life. He need a breakthrough in American life this year. He had been having failure in American life and failure in the past, failure in the past. But we went God to connect her to a three bone of our bone, flesh of our flesh. Let's pray for all those who are in this category. That they are praying for their husband, their husband to arrive. All the sister that is due for marriage, whatever strong goals that is that is trying to to make war and say they will not get married. Let's pray God will deliver them. God will yeah. send them their rightful husband. God will connect them to their husband. Oh, put your mouth and pray. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. All those who are raised by the triple H and they have been praying. Sisters have been praying and yet not a straight up. Let's pray from henceforth. Let God begin to guide them. Let God begin to lead them. Let God begin to instruct them. Let God begin to show them their life partner and call upon the Lord. And if you are here, you are still praying for the will of God in your marital life. This is an open shed for you that God Almighty is the King, the Lord of connected to your rightful husband. Be connected to your wife. You will be connected to your rightful wife, your rightful husband. The Lord will meet you. Call upon the Lord. Every spirit of failure and every, every, every uh, uh, thing that you to cover you, cover your marriage and life, cover you. They cannot see you and they cannot notice you. The fire of the Holy Ghost will fall every, every, every bone. We are to cover any of our sisters, any of our brothers who are the prayers of the Lord. Blessing by the Lord, every soul. Blessing by the Lord, every heart. Blessing by the Lord, every fire. What not for me? Jesus, 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 Jesus,
Somebody say, I need prayer for the salvation of my senior brother and for his kidney. Let's pray for this. I also for a weak, for weak kidney. Let's pray that the Lord Almighty will save this senior brother. The Lord will heal him. And that kidney problem, God will, God will, God will solve the situation. Let's commit this right in the hands of the Lord that salvation for his senior brother and also the weak kidney that will be healing as well. You and your family will end the year real graciously. End the year very well. You will not end it in you will not end this year in hospital. You will not end this year in mortuary. You will not end this year with, with accidents. You will not end this year with with, 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 with disease. You will hate it very well. You will hate it and finish very strong. Let's call upon the Lord. You will not die. You shall live to declare the force of the Lord. thank you and praise you for this precious mm -hmm. time that we spend here um, to pray a lot to um, pray for the body of Christ and pray for our brothers and sisters Lord we thank you that you have heard our prayers Lord and we thank you for the testimony that we will hear in the coming hours days and weeks for your glory Lord and we bless everyone um, in this prayer call, we bless every one of us. We bless our families. We bless our ministries, Lord. And we pray that you strengthen each one of us. Lord, may you guide us, Lord. May you inspire us. Continue to fill us with your Holy Spirit. And Lord, 
may we know your will and do your will in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, we pray for protection, Lord. May you protect us from all the attacks of the enemy, Lord. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that covers us daily, Lord. We thank you that we will grow strong in our faith, Lord, and gain victory over victory for your glory. Father, we thank you and we bless your name, Lord. May we love you, Lord. Thank you for pouring your love into our heart and so that we can love you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength and to be able to love our neighbors as ourselves, Lord. Father, we thank you and also we pray for our nations, Lord. We bless our nations. We bless the leaders, Lord. And Lord, we pray also for peace in the Middle East. We pray for peace between Israel and uh, Palestine, Lord. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, Lord. Yes, we stand for the peace of Jerusalem, Lord. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. And we pray all of you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Pastor, much over to you, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, we shall go to the uh, promises of the Lord as we have been doing in this uh, uh, chapter. Uh, the, this one of the promise. And then when I'm reading it, I want you to let to let you, I mean, I want you to discover your own Egyptians. For many of us, it is poverty. For many of us, it's marital life. For many of us, uh, it's a financial situation. For many of us, it is our ministry. You know, many people want to want to uh, grow in want the, to, uh, grow want in the uh, but unfortunately, they will deceive them. I read about uh, one of the greatest musicians, two of them in Nigeria. Two of them there one time, I'm telling you. They're supposed to have gone to the ministry. And now I remember the third one. They're supposed to have gone to the ministry, but because maybe they didn't have good counsel or, or any other person or to guide them, they went to all this awardly music. Yes, they came favor, but they died untimely. And then I discovered, just discovered one now, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, he, 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 he recovered, I mean, he recognizes that no, this thing is doing is bad, so he went back to the Christian uh, ministry, and now he's flourished. So I pray, I pray by, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we shall achieve our, our goal in Jesus' name. So the the promises is that I will deliver you out of uh, oh I'm coming to right to oh, oh seven. He said. And I will bring you, uh, therefore say to the Israelites, I am the Lord. And I will bring you out from under the yoke of the Egyptians. I will deliver you out of your poverty. I will deliver you out of your financial situation. I will deliver you out of do not have reward in the ministry. I will deliver you out of hardship, marital life. And then he said, I will, I will free you from being slave to them. You know, many of us we are just enjoying our marriage. We are not enjoying. Our, we are not enjoying our mar marriage. Many of us, if somebody want to call money, if that person is not fast to call the money fast to call the money, you will think he want to call marriage. By the time the person be crazy, you will think that somebody is running after him because of what he has witnessed in marriage. But God said, "I will deliver you because instead of enjoying that marriage." Many are slaves to the marriage. Instead of being the dominion over money, many are slaves to the money. Instead of being dominion over financial situation, many are slaves to the financial situation. He said, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with mighty art of judgment. I will take you as my own people, and I will be your God. The ball is in your court. I want you to stretch your, uh, the, your rod to divide the, 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 the Red Cross and call upon the name of the Lord. In any area you have been slave to all these things, King or King, Lord of Lord, deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of Jesus, call upon the name of the Lord. Is it financial situation? Is it ministry? 
whatsoever be your own case. I can't hear you praying. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord. The King or King, Lord of Lords. In this year of financial situation, I want you to deliver me. Oh, mighty Father, in my marital life, I want you to deliver me. Oh, mighty Father, in my work, I want you to deliver me. In my ministry that is not rewarding, I want you to deliver me. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Are we not on the line again? Are we, I can see that many of us, we are most ourselves. Is it prayer does not concern us? Are we financially okay? Is our marriage so okay? Is every situation about our life, is it okay? Why do you call upon the name of the Lord? Why do you call upon the name of the Lord? And claim the, name of the, and claim the promise of the Lord that I will be your God. And I will deliver you from all these hardships. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call oh, upon the name of the Lord that from this moment, by the power oh, in the blood of Jesus Christ, you shall have dominion over your over your financial situation. You shall have dominion upon your ministry, God has done. You shall have dominion upon your marriage. You shall have dominion upon your financial situation. Call upon the name of the Lord, Father. Why me, Almighty oh, Father? Why all these promises are here? Why are they not working for me? Why these promises are not working for me, Almighty oh, Father? You told me when you see the blood, you will pass over me. King of the Lord of Lord, where is this? Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, be my God. I renew my covenant with you. Father, renew your covenant with me. I renew my covenant with you. Father, renew your covenant with me. Call upon the name of the Lord with you. With your tears. Call upon the name of the Lord. You don't want to be this thing in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at that Nigeria. Look at how we are. Said it's very bad. Go to the house of many people, they are having more than enough. Look at that Nigeria, and they are children of God. They are children of God. You can say they are worldly. They are children of God. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Any every Lord financially, every every Lord marital in my marital life, any every Lord in my in my situation, any every Lord in my physical life. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. King God can deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty Father, open a new chapter in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Open a new chapter in my ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Open a new chapter in my in my way of life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, set me as a head. The shall be the head and not be saved. That's what you that's what you told me. In my family, make me the head. In my place of work, make me the way of head. Where there's no way. Father, King of King, is are you not answering prayer again? God, are you not answering prayer again? King of King, are you not answering prayer again? People who are calling upon you, are you not answering them? You let me know that if I can think about something, that means I can achieve it. Father, why I'm not going from step to step? Why I'm not going up? Why I'm so stagnant? Let's call upon the name of the Lord. If there's any sin in my life that I've committed, if there's anything that is causing all injustices, if there's anything in my family lily that has been causing all this damage, if there's any arrow as our leader has come to Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, you are the master of arrows. You are the one that created the arrow the enemy is misusing. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, deliver me in the name of Jesus Christ. I never want to do the same thing in the name of Jesus Christ. I never want to do the same thing in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear brother, my dear, my dear father in the Lord, my dear mother in the Lord, what is that thing that is paining you? What is that thing that you are partnering? What is that thing you are managing? What is that thing you are enduring? What is that thing that you are finding it difficult to remove in your life? You are just looking up and down and still there's no solution. Why do you call upon the name of the Lord? Father, what is the real problem? Are you not my God? Are you not my father? Do I have any other father? Do I have any other God? Any other way I don't have? Father, deliver me. King God, King, deliver me. Don't bad people like deliver me. Let your promise come up for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it come true. Let your name be glorified in my life. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Over to you, Pastor Ali. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, we have this assurance within us because the scripture cannot be broken. The Bible says, if we ask anything according to your will, you hear it all. Amen. For Christ has 
redeem us from the cause of the law, be made a cause for us. Cause sake is everyone that anchored upon the tree that the blessing of Abraham may come upon the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. Tonight, I decree that blessing. Amen. On every one of our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Whatever cause of poverty, mm. whatever Lua. cause of stagnation, of stagnation, stagnation that the enemy has trapped anybody on this mountain by the authority of the Lord, every such cause and every spirit of failure, yet the work of the Lord, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of failure, from the cause of poverty, from the cause of sickness. Therefore, we pray, we decree, we declare our prosperity to begin to manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Whatever arrow they shot against anybody, the Amen. commander arrow we throw the arrow back to the camp of the enemy to go and locate them and wound them in Jesus' name. Amen. From this day, you will give us testimony. Amen. And those who have been praying for the will of God in marriage, and they have been praying and praying and praying. Sisters have been praying. Brothers have been praying. Whatever is preventing them not to be hooked up to their rightful partner, that yoke, we command that yoke to be broken out of their life by the anointing of the Lord. Set them free and connect them to their rightful husband, their rightful wife, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we thank you because we know you have answer. Lord, yes, once again, I pray. This prayer conference, this mountain of prayer, mountain of prayer, this prayer conference, I pray. You we going to surprise us and lift and, and, and give us sponsor that we sponsor this online prayer meeting this mountain for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray that we will return next week, upper week, because next week is GCK, upper week. We shall return with testimony by the grace of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Thank Jesus' you, name we pray. Amen. 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 We shall meet in the uh the hour of victory. Please let us be there to pray for GCK and all the other people. God will be with us in Jesus' name. Let's share, let us share the grace together. Uh we our attender, please let us continue to invite other people. Do not wait till tomorrow. Every day share it. And the joy of the Lord will continue to be our uh, uh, strength in Jesus' name. We shall have testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord Forever and ever. Amen. And thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. Bless you too.
Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless your name because today you are giving us a kind of triumph, a kind of victory that will make us come cross in a permanent way in Jesus' name. Your word in us, your word in our hearts, in our spirit, in our soul, in our mind, coming out from our mouth will give us victory over every situation in Jesus' name. We're asking, Lord, at this time, the power of the word, the power of the spirit, and the power in the name of Jesus will avail for everyone. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And the victorious people of God said, We're coming to Romans chapter 8. And I'm reading from verse 37. Romans chapter 8, verse 37. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. The apostle had been talking about the love of God. And what keeps us in that love of God? Look at verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? And then as he continues, he brings us in. And he says, whatever happens in that love of Christ, whatever happens at the very center of that love of Christ, we are more than conquerors. And then he comes to the final verse of that chapter, verse 39. No height, no depth, no any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God. It begins that section, that bracket of the love of Christ, and it closes that bracket with the love of God. And at the very center of that passage, it says, we are more than conquerors as we are surrounded and supported by the love of Christ, the love of God. Read everything now. Verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, distress, persecution, Farming, nakedness, peril, sword, as it is written, for thy sake, we are all killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. It's talking about the persecution that the early church experienced, and they were driven from city to city. And they were moved from place to place. And they were searching for them as if they were searching for or hunting for animals. But then Paul the Apostle said, in spite of it all, despite everything that you can think about coming against any member of the church, coming against any local church, coming against the body of Christ, it says, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us, for I am persuaded. That's what Paul said. That's what I say. And what do you say? For I am persuaded. And he had the voice of the old house. I said, what did you say? <laughs> For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, 
nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. As we live our Christian lives, we need to be reminded there will be times of trial. There will be times of persecution. There will be times of temptation. There will be times to find yourself at a crossroads. Where do I turn to? Where do I go? To the right or to the left? Or do I go on in a straight course? At such a crossroads, in times when you are perplexed, in times where there may be confusion, the Lord wants you to remember that with his love upon your life and his love within your heart, whatever happens, whoever is against you, whatever the temptation, whoever the tempter or the temptress may be, you'll be more than a conqueror. Because he gives us triumph at the cross. He bought that triumph for us. With his word, he has given us the promise of that triumph. And by his spirit, he transfers that victory, that overcoming spirit, that triumph, transfers that to every heart. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Now thanks be unto God, which always causes us to triumph in Christ and make it manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. As we look at that verse, it talks about triumph. And it says, we're giving thanks to God. It's not in our strength. It's not in our power. The weakest of the saints of God, the smallest of the children of God, can have triumph because it says the source. The secret of that triumph is God himself. And he gives that triumph, and he gives the victory, and he gives that overcoming power to all his children, all the heirs of the kingdom. And so he could say, now, at this time, when he said now, he was looking at all the things that had happened. Since he became a Christian, since he became a child of God, and since he became an heir of the kingdom. And then he's looking at all the Corinthian believers. He's looking at what they had passed through in their community, in their country, and with the alien nations around them. And now he said, in it all, and through it all, thanks be unto God which always, not sometimes, whatever the challenge, always, whatever the confrontation, always, whatever the power that may wage war against your life, we are conquerors always, I may conquer always. I said I am a conqueror always. It says, always causes us to triumph always makes us to triumph. He gives the power. He gives the enablement. He gives the strength. And he makes us to triumph every time in Christ. Salvation, we have that in Christ. Sanctification, we have that in Christ. Peace and purity, we have that in Christ. And Holy Ghost power, we have that in Christ. And the courage and the backbone to stand, we have that in Christ. And it says, once we remain in Christ, it causes us to triumph in Christ. And it maketh manifest the savor of his knowledge by us 
In how many places? I said in how many places? In every place, every place you find yourself. The rest of this year and the rest of your Christian life, you will triumph in Jesus' name. Look at First John chapter 4. Receive for that triumph and the receive for that power and the receive for overcoming. First John chapter 4 verse 4. Ye of God, little children. Are you born again? Ye of God, little children. Have you moved on in consecration and sanctification? Ye of God, little children. And after being saved, sanctified, purified, crucified with Christ, risen with Christ, and you are purified and sanctified and made holy, and you have moved on into the possession of the power of the Holy Ghost. And he says, because of that year of God, little children and have overcome them. We are overcomers. I am an overcomer. I said I am an overcomer. Temptation, I overcome. Trial, I overcome. Persecution, I overcome. At the crossroads, I overcome. Powers of darkness, I overcome. Sickness, I can't hear the church. Sickness, disaster, accident, you overcome in Jesus' name. You have got little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We need to understand who we have and what we have. We have Christ living within, abiding within. You said that salvation is greater than all the sins, all the temptations in the world. You're sanctified. That power of purity living within that has taken away the Adamic nature, that thing you have inside you, with the fulfillment of the promises of God, it's greater than anything in the world. You have the Holy Ghost abiding in you. It says, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, He is with you and shall be in you. That one inside you is greater than anything that will come against your life in the world. Know what you have. Know who you have and know what you possess and understand because he that abides in you, Jesus Christ abides in the believer. I stand at the door and knock. And if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in unto him. Christ lives in you. The Father abides within you. He that has my word and he shows love to me and obeys my word, the Father will love him and I and my Father will enter into him. You have Christ within. You have the Father within. And now you have the Holy Ghost within. Read that verse again. Ye of God, little children, and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The triune God abides within us. You cannot be defeated. You cannot be conquered. You're going to overcome. You're going to have triumph in Jesus' name. <laughs> Kingdom triumph. Three things we're looking at. Number one, the testimony and the pattern of the king's triumph. Christ is the king. 
Christ is our Lord. Christ is our master. And he has triumphed already. I want to see the testimony and the pattern of the king's triumph. Number two, our trust in his promise of kingdom triumph. He's giving us promises. And by these promises, we remain conquerors, we remain overcomers, and we're triumphant. Our trust in his promise of kingdom triumph. Number three, his transfer of power. He has the power, in fact, he has all power on earth and in heaven. And he transfers that power. He transmits that power unto every heir of the kingdom. His transfer of power for kingdom triumph. Number one, tell me your number one there. Shout out number one over there. The testimony and pattern of the king's triumph. How did he triumph? How did he overcome? How did he have the power over everything that came against him? Many passages we could refer to, but let's look at Matthew chapter 4. The testimony and the pattern of the king's triumph. Matthew chapter 4 verse 1. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, tried of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was up to watch and hungered. He was hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the Son of God. Think about that. In the previous chapter, that's in chapter 3, when he was baptized in water, as he was coming out, the Holy Ghost in the form of a dove lighted upon him. And then the voice of the Father spoke from heaven. In chapter 3, verse 17, and a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. And immediately after following uh, the tempter, is going to challenge that statement from heaven. Here we are, heirs of the kingdom. Here we are, citizens of the kingdom. Here we are, having the faith of the kingdom. Here we are, having the authority, the authority of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, kingdom authority. Here we are, dedicated to kingdom service. Here we are, going on and moving on, and everywhere we go, everything we touch, we move on with kingdom law. Here we are, and we are possessors of the treasures of the kingdom, and Satan is going to challenge that. Is going to bring temptation, trial. It's going to say, if you are what you testify to be, if you are a real child of God, if you are truly sanctified, if you are an heir of the kingdom, then it's going to come with temptation. But thank God, Jesus overcame, and you are going to overcome. Somebody there said, Jesus overcame, and you are an overcomer. <laughs> Look at this, verse 3. If that be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Look at the answer. Look at the victory. Look at the triumph. Look at the secret of triumph. Look at the source of triumph. And look at the supernatural power that backed up the words of Christ because it's the word of Scripture, verse 4. And he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, 
but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That's how you overcame. That's how you are going to overcome. How did you overcome? He said, it is written. It is written. Jesus knew what was written. And what was written in particular about him. And he knew because of that, he could not fail. Search the scriptures. Look at the word of God. Look at the promises of God for the believer. And know the promise that is written concerning you. And when temptation comes, when trial comes, when the tempter, the temptress may come to you, you're going to quote that word and say, it is written. Look at the next one, verse 5. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on the pinnacle of the temple and says unto him, if thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is reaching. Uh -huh. There are times the devil will also appeal to the Bible. Because Jesus had said, it is reaching, and he overcame him, triumphed over him, overpowered him, overthrew him. He now went to the scripture to search for something, and to make the scripture a source of temptation. You know, Satan will do that. He'll use somebody, and the little scripture they know, they want to quote that and make that a source of temptation, a source of trial. Look at what he said in verse 6. And he says, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands that they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus said unto him, Don't go anywhere to look for victory. Your victory is in the word of God. Your triumph is in the word of God. Your power is in the word of God. But seven, Jesus said unto him, It is reaching again. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And now in verse 8, the devil came the first round. Jesus overcame. I will overcome. He came from the second angle. And Jesus overcame. I will overcome. He didn't stop there. Look at verse 8. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And says unto him, look at this, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. He said, the kingdoms of the world, they are in my hand. The power, the glory, they belong to me. Adam transferred them to me. And I know what you're looking for. They call you Lord. They call you Master. They call you King. I'll hand it over to you. On one condition, you fall down, you bend down, you worship me, Everything will be yours. That's how Satan tries to capture people. That's how Satan tries to bring people under his rule. Money, I can give you. Women, I can give you. 